So very, very simple exercises that you can do, uh, bass player exercises <laughs> that you can do to help help yourself warm up. <laughs> Um, I haven't experienced any joint or any, you know, arthritis, carpal tunnel type of pain like that, uh, which I've been hugely fortunate enough to to be able to say that. Uh, but at the same time, I do develop some stiffness or, you know, some some pain or some I, I would just say like wear and tear when I'm playing for long periods of time. So, you know, you, you do get tired, you do get fatigued, but there's some exercise that I, exercises that I do to help that. Because I think this is really important for people that do have this problem and I don't want to take you know, for granted, you know, the fact that I don't have the problem, but this will still help and I still do this to this day. So you really have to be careful, you know, as far as your stretching, as far as your warming up, you know, the warm ups that we talk about here on the channel, um, or even just, just warming up period in general. Uh, if you guys have seen any type of warm up lessons, uh, I, those are not for no reason at all. Those are literally for you to warm up so you don't develop that, you know, uh, that pain. So one of the exercises that I like to do is literally stretching my hand or my arm straight out, right? You guys ready? Straight out like this. Grab all of your fingers, pull them back, right? Pull them back. You'll start to, you'll start to feel that pull right in your forearm because that, that's connected too. I think it's called um, your extensions, like your forearm extensions or your finger extensions or something like that. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm not a doctor, but I know this stuff is connected because you'll feel it. As soon as you pull these fingers back, pull these fingers back, you'll, you'll feel something under here start to pull, right? Then you want to do each finger, right? Try to keep your hand as straight as possible, as straight up. You see that straight up as possible. Bend that finger back, hold it for a couple seconds. Bend that finger back, hold it for a couple seconds. Same thing same thing you want to do your thumb too don't forget about that i know you probably see people do this this kind of thing it's almost the same thing D doing this you know stretching your you know flipping your fingers back or bending them backwards it's the same thing you're just isolating this right so pulling that pulling that and it'll pull from here these are the muscles that you really need and that work when you're playing especially here with your your right hand or your picking hand so you'll feel that muscle here in your forearm really start to tighten up and you know um if you lift lift weights or train or weight train or anything like that you'll understand if you ever trained your forearms you understand why that's connected to your wrist and your hand okay so the other part of the exercise is doing the opposite well kind of the opposite so straight out arm straight out hand straight out kind of bent as much as possible now you want to take this part of your hand don't pull from here because that really won't do anything too much you want to you want to press down here and bend it backwards bend it towards you push it towards you now if you do that you'll feel all of this in this that muscle in that forearm you'll feel that muscle in that forearm pull right and those are the muscles that you that you use to play so actually if you do that uh, i wish i had a short sleeve shirt on so you guys could see if you do that do you see that muscle moving? You have to use this whole entire thing. It's, it's a lot more to it than actually what you see. It's not just fingers working. This forearm, I don't know if you guys can see that through the camera. That looks kind of creepy, right? You see that muscle working. That muscle working. So um, all of that ties into each other. So to be able to have a nice strong forearm, to be able to press the strings down, to be able to have these flexor extensions in your hand to be as flexible as possible, uh, you need to do that exercise. So you can do this exercise several different ways. You can go against the wall, you can press your hand against the wall, and then you can just kind of pull, you know, lean forward and then your, your fingers will go backwards. Now this one you have to be careful with, bring, bending your wrist down, because that that will definitely pull and you start feeling that. And the weirdest thing is like my tricep here is every time I do that, it's, I'm not trying to move my, my tricep, but all of that stuff is connected. All of it is connected. So just making sure, you know, that's nice and stretched out and you're nice and warmed up. And that's the same hand, same thing for the other hand. You want to do the same thing. So very, very simple exercises that you can do. Um, bass player exercises <laughs> that you can do to help help yourself warm up. Hopefully, hopefully you guys did that with me and you see the effects of that. And you'll see that's the muscles that you need to use um, 
if you're only using your first two fingers, you know, it's not as crazy on the right hand, but the left hand, absolutely, this, that's where it really cramps up when you're starting to play and, you know, get stiff. So this left hand is really the one, or if you're left-handed playing bass, um, but you guys get the idea, right? <laughs>